Welcome to the Cone Zone. I'm Grant Cone. That's my dad, Lowell Cone. And today we got some splaining to do. At the end of last week, uh, my dad and I were coming down pretty hard on Kyle Shanahan. And it seemed like Kyle Shanahan had lied. And we were wondering if that made him a liar. But then right at the last minute, it seems like he got in under the tag at home at home plate. Like he slid under the tag or the catcher missed the tag. Something happened. But it seemed like he didn't lie. Dad, how do you interpret the news of this weekend? Well, let's go through uh, what happened. Um, it the, the Niners had announced that they were eliminating the last week of OTAs or the Plus last mini camp. Yes. The last, the mini camp. The last. Yeah. The, the last week of OTAs and mini camp. So two weeks total. Okay. And Adam Schefter, who is a wonderful reporter and a very good guy, came out, I believe, Iggy, and said, that actually they were that they had to give up those two functions because the league was fining them. Yes. Or pen penalizing them. Yes. In the meantime, Shanahan had said he gave him up because he had done all his work. He didn't need it, those those functions. So it seemed like he was fit, lying, lying. Right. right. And I came out and said, if someone lies, he's a liar. Um, then we were a little confused. So I emailed Matty Mayoko, and he said that actually Schefter had corrected, that Adam had corrected, and said that they were not, um, they did not have those two functions taken away from them. Because they took away from themselves already. I don't think he said that. He See, what, what, what Adam Schefter tweeted was, correction, the, the NFL did not cancel the, the last week of 49ers OTAs as the 49ers had canceled them already. That's what he tweeted. Okay, fine. So what? So clearly, in a technicality, Kyle Shanahan did not lie. Right. Because the league did not take them away. But in fact, and this is my interpretation, he took them away from himself yeah. so the league wouldn't penalize him. And I think that's a brilliant move. I want to give him props for that. I love that move. And I used that move in seventh grade in a different context, but it was just as effective. I could tell the story real quickly. I had a girlfriend for two months. You might've remembered her. I'm not going to use her name. Uh, I The word got out that she was going to dump me. She told some people that she was going to dump me before she dumped me. So I found out at lunch, I was going to get dumped. And what I decided to do at the spur of the moment was to dump her first. So I saw her down at the schoolyard and I said, can we talk for a minute? And she was excited because she was thought it was her opportunity to dump me. And I said, look, I don't like you anymore. And she looked at me and she was like, you can't do that. I'm going to dump you. And I said, no, I just dumped you. It's over. So for the record, which was 20 years ago, I dumped her. And that's just how history was written. And I, I'm happy that it was written that way. It was one of my biggest victories. So Kyle, you got the same victory. I just want to say nice, nicely yeah, done. I, I'm impressed. So not only are you not a liar, you're really, you use the system clever in a clever way. And we're going to call it the dumper room move. You, you see the sanctions coming and you're like, no, no, no. I'm going to sanction myself. You don't get to. I love that. It's like, you're going to fire me? No, I quit. I love yeah, that. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. It's officially known as the dumper room move. In the dumper room movie. move. The dumper yeah. room move. So, Kyle, so, respect. I want to come in very seriously because a lot of your fans were very angry at me. Even this morning, someone said I was arrogant. and Take the L. Terrible. I take the L. Take so, the look, L. I took the L. Uh, what you did was really clever. Um, good, good for you. Yeah, I was inspired. I think more people should use that that strategy when when they're in a tough situation. Don't just get dumped. Take take control of the situation because you write history. So I like that. Adam Schefter had to correct his tweet, not Kyle. And what's interesting was when the story came out that the Niners were in violation, the Niners put out a press release and didn't argue. They said, you know, we, we hear the report and we're committed to following rules and player safety and a story. So Kyle must have, someone must have got to Schefter and was like, Technically, technically, I didn't lie. We didn't lie. So yeah, we was like, away. good point. Now, good point. I'd like to go on with this a little more. Sure. Because other issues came up in the firestorm uh, oh. on Twitter, in the firestorm, <sighs> when, when they, they were so angry at my mistreatment of Kyle. And a couple of things happened. One uh, said, who cares if he lies to the media? Now, this is a different conversation now. We are no longer saying... Right. Kyle is a liar because he he pulled the dump and he didn't lie. Right. But I'm talking and, and, and there's a reason he did it because you can't lie. There's a reason why it was important for him to 
uh, set the record straight and be like, actually, actually, I didn't lie. It's important. Dad, explain why. Okay. First of all, this is going to sound very old. You got to tell the truth. Yes. It's wrong to lie. Yes. And if you live in a relativistic universe, and if you don't know what that means, look it up. Mm -hmm. If you live in a relativistic universe that said lies are equal to truth, you have to really investigate who you are and what your ethical standards are. Mm -hmm. Now, you want to lie, say, so-and-so uh, isn't really hurt. He's probably going to play on something. I understand. Those what. are white lies. White lies, but lies about really big things. Yes. You can't, you can't do that. Now, you can't do it. People says, who cares if he lies to the media? Well, lying to the media is lying to fans. Yeah. We are the intermediates. Uh, we are the we we're in between. We mediate between fans and teams. So he's lying to you. If you feel that you uh, want to be lied to, that's great. If you feel that you can't trust what a coach or an executive says, that you can't trust it, well, good for you. I want to be able to trust the people I talk to. And here's one other thing. In my life as a journalist, sometimes people lie to me. Well. If I found out and it was serious, I would say, go to the person and say, you lied to me. Mm -hmm. It would be better to say no comment. I could live with no comment. You lied to me. Don't lie to me again because right. there'll be repercussions. It's just, I, this is business. This is serious business. And I said it to some very famous people, Iggy, and they didn't lie to me again. I want to say something else. Kyle Shanahan prides himself on his transparency. He actually answers questions in a lot of words and tries to create the perception that he's being honest and not hiding anything. And he's built this uh, reputation, perception of himself over four years as a head coach. He would undermine all of that by lying one time. And it's very bad. Yeah. You'd have to go back into all the other things he said where he's gone into detail asking you to believe him and say, well, how do we? You could have been lying here. When you wanted us to believe you that you liked Trey Lance all along and, and had no interest in, in Mac Jones, why should we believe that? Did we do enough on, on Shanahan? Yeah, I mean, do we owe him an apology? Or do, should we just I say... I apologize. Yeah, sorry. And well played. 